clinical features of nerve compression, we need to confirm the diagnosis. The ideal and the easiest way of confirming the diagnosis is by doing an MRI scanning of the spine. This MRI scanning is done using a machine where a magnetic field is applied and the images are taken. Therefore, there is no X-ray radiation to the patient by doing MRI scan. And at the same time, MRI scanning is a very safe investigation procedure where patients are being monitored during the period of investigation. Once it is done, we can correctly see the nerves, the discs and all the soft tissues and we can assess the degree of compression. Then we will confirm the level of the compression and at the same time the degree of the compression. It is very very important to have a full idea of the compression and the structures that compress the nerves before going in for a surgery. So this is a very commonly used investigation and it is available all over the world. Therefore, anybody who has suspected lumbar disc prolapse or lumbar canal stenosis should undergo MRI scanning and confirm the diagnosis. At the same time, we need to understand the stability of the spine. Stability of the spine can be assessed by dynamic X-rays of the lumbar spine. Usually what we do is forward bending and backward bending exercises. At the same time, we can do lateral bending exercises to see the stability of the spine. Why are we doing this thing is in a normal lumbar canal stenosis, we do a minimal access surgery just to decompress the nerves. However, if there's instability, we need to fix that unstable segment. Therefore, it cannot lead to further problems in the future. Once we do this uh, investigation, we can get a good idea about the structure and the nerves in that region. If we have any doubt about the bone pathologies associated with this lumbar canal stenosis, we can do a CT scan that will show the bony structures better than the MR scan and the X-rays. So once these three investigations are done, we can diagnose the lumbar canal stenosis and nerve compression and we have enough information for further treatment either conservatively or to do surgery. At the same time, if there is any doubt about the nerve involvement, we can do a nerve conduction study and see whether there is ongoing neurological problem involving in the suspected nerves going down the lumbar canal stenosis and at the same time going to the legs. These information will be very important to correlate with the clinical features and come to a final diagnosis.